What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and Reacher fans. Welcome to the channel. Nikki and Steven here to react to a new show. And it's always really, really fun to start something new. Yes, it is. And, you know, just some quick housekeeping things for those who are new. And if you're not new, just a reminder, we have full reactions to everything that we're watching, especially the Reacher. The links are down below for that. They are full watch-along, unedited reactions. You do need to bring your own copy because... Watch along. Watch along. Watch along with us. So yep. those are down below. We're going to have a dedicated Reacher channel over on the Discord. You should definitely come join that. There's a link to that down below as well. We have a blast over on Discord. Lots of really fun stuff to talk about constantly every day. And that's something that's constantly growing. And it's something that's really cool because it's fun. It's great. So, yeah, come join the Discord. And we live stream, too. If you're into that, there's a link down below for that as well. And we do movie nights every single weekend. And, yeah, we play some games when we got time. But Reacher, I know, the, the small thing I know, his name's Jack Reacher. I know that. I know Tom Cruise was Reacher in a movie or movies. I don't know if there's more than one, but that's pretty much the extent of my Reacher knowledge. Uh, Nikki's got some uh, deep, deep history with Reacher, don't ya? Uh, where are my new girl fans at? Hello. Mm. Woo! Yep. Uh, he was on an episode of New Just Girl. One? Yeah, it was. Just one. Yes, with Zoe De Chanel. It's a powerful episode. Yes. Um. So the main, you know, is about like uh pe the guys being shallow when it comes to women and all this stuff, and then she meets him, and um, he's a micro penis guy. So. Awesome. It's all about his micro penis. Hopefully we can get past that very quickly because yeah. I don't think that's the kind of character he's going to be in Reacher. Like funny as shit. You got to go see that episode. <laughs> so funny. So yeah, here we go. We're going to be starting a new one. Reacher season one, episode number one. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. It's a little bit of a interesting start. A couple folks getting capped, and then they're like, I feel like they were staging the body. I don't know. By kicking it, making it appear something else was happening. Or they were just taking out their aggression. Or they were just. Is this actually happened? Can you take a bus and they'll just drop you off in the middle of fucking nowhere? Not that, not that this is nowhere, but you know what I'm saying? Ooh, onto a paved road. Paved road. Words are hard. I'm sorry. I'm not good at Don't math. Don't forget the 40% tip. I messed up, okay? How am I supposed to get ahead when you're wasting my goddamn money? Get your ass in the van. The hell you want, asshole? I'm talking to you, stupid. Damn, he's got a thick neck. Look he's at the a, size of that thing. He's, he's a like big, a fucking football player. He's a shit. big ass dude. I don't think I'd be calling him asshole and Listen, talking man, shit. I'm just having a bad day. <laughs> yeah. You backpedal in that shit real fast. Won't happen again. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> and peach pie. Oh god. That's best you gonna find in Georgia. Fucking guy look like a fucking linebacker. What the fuck? Yeah, he's a big ass dude. Did he play sports? Looked way different in New Girl. Way different. He wasn't all jacked in New Girl? No, he was skinny as hell. Oh, what the hell? Damn, what'd you do? Just eat the pie, eat the pie, eat the pie. He's literally not moving. Now, you're gonna slide out from behind that booth nice and slow. Do it now! Slow! Hands. Hands behind your head. Interlock your fingers. Face your window. Dessert's gonna have to wait. 
You're under arrest for murder. Come on, you can move faster than that. If you step over here, I can process you. I'm not asking, sir. I'm telling. But don't worry, I won't kick your ass unless you make me. All right. First things first, what is your name? Sasquatch don't talk. And a passport on you, though. Jack Reacher. Zip ties? Cuffs didn't fit him. <laughs> the freaking can doesn't even fit the handcuffs. Everything else he was carrying. This looks like some kind of foreign deal. World War II medal. French. No one moves around holding just this. What the hell are you doing in my town? I'm Chief Detective Oscar Finley. I'll be asking you some questions. Was informed you were read your rights, so you know you don't have to answer. <laughs> Not gonna say a word, huh? was found by the highway embankment in an overpass, partially covered by flattened out cardboard boxes. Two 9mm, 95 grain, close range shots to the back of the head. Victim was male, 30s. Big guy. He was beaten badly post mortem. Problem getting prints off the body's swollen fingertips. You know who this man was? How he wound up dead? Anything you want to share besides your riveting company? <laughs> I'm not about to waste the rest of my afternoon. Maybe your court appointed attorney will get you to open up. I don't need a lawyer. There he is. He speaks when he wants to. I didn't kill anybody, at least not recently. And not in this town. So far, run on his prints has been clean, but something could still turn up. There's no Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, no driver's license. The only proof Jack Reacher exists is the fact that he's sitting in that room. Interesting. Retired Army commanded the 110th Special Investigations Unit of the military police. I got a few men in the course of your duties. All rude good kills. I'm sitting across from a man who doesn't mind killing and who has the knowledge and training to murder someone and cover it up. You'd be right. <laughs> Three men dropped this body. Shooter was someone who knows firearms well. A silencer was used. He also knew enough to pick up his brass. This was someone who knew how to conduct a quiet, effective kill. You're also looking for a psycho who'd beat up a body post-mortem. Someone completely unhinged. Totally different profile from your professional shooter. Something wrong? No. Very observant. Well, the third guy's so worried about getting out of there, he grabs some nearby debris and just lays it across the corpse. You said the victim was big, so most likely his feet were sticking out, and that's how he got spotted. Tall people never have enough room for their feet. I got off the bus from Tampa and walked to town. Greyhound doesn't have a stop in Margaret. I never said it did. I asked the driver to do me a favor. <laughs> yes, there you go. Blue singer. Legend has it he died in Margaret a long time ago. I figured I'd learn a bit about him. I like music. You get on a bus in Tampa with $212, a toothbrush, and a French war medal, and travel over 500 miles to read up on a dead blues musician. Sounds totally... I also went to a diner, ordered peach pie, and never got to eat it because I was arrested for murder. <laughs> He's kind of, like, funny. Yeah. Like, the demeanor. The dry. We're running down a phone number found in the dead guy's shoe. It was on a scrap of paper with the word pluribus written on it. Want to clear that up, too, before you let you go. You know anything about that? It means I'm going to be here for a while. Phone companies are slow responding to warrants. Too bad. This is fucked up. Reacher, why does trouble always seem to find you? Yeah, Reacher, the phone moving truck could have burned down. You cannot back fireworks. But they're from the 4th of July. So good. This uh. is the last of it. A little flashback. Uh oh. You guys are just from dinner today. Yeah. This the way to the beach? Yeah. That's five bucks. What's five bucks? From the looks of it, your jacket. Yeah, I'm big for my age. Just like you're ugly for your age. Oh, dang. Let's just go home. Oh, oh shit. OK. You don't have to do this. <laughs> it's never just your fight. You know, Mama's right. Trouble does kind of seem to find you. 
<laughs> They're about to whoop these kids' asses. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks. Been in here a while now. Figured you could use a pick me up. Not my fault. Trouble just kind of seems to find me. What I could really use is getting these ties off. Chief Morrison says they stay on. Assumed you liked it black. How'd you figure? Seemed like a no nonsense guy. Premature or nonsense. So you know I'm innocent. How do you figure? I doubt it's procedure to bring coffee to the guilty. If you are guilty of something, can't be much. Preliminary run on your prints turned up nothing. Bad guys set off bells and whistles right away. By the way, I did not give them permission to use my biceps in the okay, show. Okay, shut it. I did not. No, not okay. Murder? You know anything about that? Unidentified male shot to death. He was found with your number written on a paper scrap in his shoe. I did it. I killed the guy. It was me. What was his name? I, I don't know. You killed a man you don't know? Yeah, that's right. Okay, you said it took place by the highway. Where exactly along the highway? I, t I told you I did it, okay? I'm not about to rehash all the detail. Because <laughs> that's not sus at all. So you expect me to believe that you, a man with no criminal record, that you just blew a man away, a double barrel shotgun blast right to the face, and then burnt the body? <laughs> yes, I did. Your life's about to get very complicated, Miss Doppel. I like how he changed the details of the Yeah, word. yeah, yeah. Well, it's just like, you know, it's just not, that's not how this works. Reacher, come with me. No. <laughs> not until you let these zip ties come off. We both know I didn't kill anybody, and they're uncomfortable. Dude, just get the box cutter. <laughs> box okay. cutter, yeah, box cutter. Oh. Yeah, see? <laughs> you just pop that shit off. Give me a break. You guys recycle. He's funny. I like this guy. <laughs> that other guy, Paul Hubble, banker, lives in Margrave, works in Atlanta. No priors. He just confessed to the murder. Oh, nice. Thanks for the hospitality. Not so fast. If you want to run, go for it. But I doubt you're that fast or that bulletproof. One guy lied about killing another guy. That doesn't clear you. Good town of murder, and even when you confess, nothing happens to you. Oh, you saw Hubble. He's a citizen. He can't shoot pool, let alone shoot a person. He admitted to things that didn't even happen. He just wants me to think he did it and not look into the matter any further. Like, what was that car doing outside his house? Maybe I'll cut a deal and talk. Maybe I'm just thinking the guy who was seen near the murder site, guilty or not, might still have information to share. I don't, but Stevenson does. He and Hubble were looking at each other. They looked at each other. They held eye contact for a full two Mississippi. You're always so confident in your theories. As confident as I am that you went to Harvard, you recently divorced, and you quit smoking in the last six months. Baker, he called you a bean town bitch, and from all appearances, you're well educated, but you took a job in the middle of nowhere with people that look nothing like you. You're stubborn, you have a chip on your shoulder, you don't care if your coworkers like you. A guy like that doesn't go to BU, he goes to Harvard. You're also about 40, which means you did your 20 at Boston PD to get your pension so you can afford a proper southern soup, but you still look like black Sherlock Holmes. It means no woman in your life making sure you dress right. Death or divorce. At your age, divorce is a higher probability, but you still wear the ring. He is so observant. As for the smoking, when I broke down the three murderers back there, you started to think you had the wrong guy. It stressed you out. The water in your glass moved a bit. It means your leg was bouncing under the table. That combined with the slight aroma of cigarettes in your suit, because it's hard to get out of tweed. And I assume nicotine withdrawal. The study show it takes four to six months to fully break a habit. You keep up the good work, though. <laughs> He's fucking huge. Yeah, this is this is very entertaining so far. It's like he was able to gather so much information so quickly, mm -hmm. and the way he just what? presents it is hilarious. Well, his previous job. I don't know why his number was in that guy's shoe. I don't know why he confessed. All I know is that at midnight he was nowhere near that highway. Couple in the trucks. No, he cheated on his wife. No, he's a family. Don't man. answer his questions. He's not your boss. Right. Sorry. Does he have money problem? I don't know what to do. Just answer the question. <laughs> no, he is rich. You seem to be confused about your role in this situation. You are my detainee and suspect, not my partner or my equal. Now, Chief Morrison wants you in custody till we know for sure that all six foot four of you was on that bus from Tampa. Six foot five. Oh, shit. <laughs> he had to correct the extra inch. 
I mean, there's definitely some really shady shit going on. Totally. The dude in the car or people in the car, whatever that situation was, was like, he's going to confess? Okay, good. They probably had the house bugged or whatever. They were listening to him. Thanks for the watch thing. Shut up. <laughs> you ruined my trip here. <laughs> He's a quite interesting character so far. Mm-hmm. Ain't no jumper gonna fit you, big boy. But a Samoan fella come to here last year. And Scrubs made up special. This is on purpose. Of course it's on Let's purpose. Let's strip this fucking guy with his six-pack abs. His pecs are bigger than mine. <laughs> Drop them drawers. Bend over and spread. Uh-uh. No, thank you. I don't want to cough. I don't have to cough right now. The victim I'm suspected of murdering was shot by a handgun that would measure four inches by six. That weapon's not fitting inside me or any other human being without sending them to the hospital. Since that's the only contraband related to this crime, your request is... Unlawful. Well, damn. Regulations the say. The only thing up my ass right now is you. So if you think you can perform the inspection without getting seriously injured, go for it. Do you think he's afraid of the... I, I don't... <laughs> I had to throw it in there. Don't, don't look at my micro penis. <laughs> No, you're not. Wasn't my intention. Remember when I said shut up on the bus? Same rule goes for jail. <laughs> Dude! He yeah, the, the tall thing, he, he knew personally. Is he hiding behind the bunks? That's not good. What's going on? We're not with the guys awaiting arraignment. We're with the lifers. What do you mean, the lifers? The lifers? Oh, shit. oh god! Hi guys, what's up, man? Ready to party? I'd like to close there my door now. Is. Oh boy. Uh uh. Look, she got pretty little shoes on. Give him shoes, baby. You heard me? Give my shoes like a good little bitch. Don't give him your shoes. Oh man. I have glasses too. Give my glasses. Yeah, that's just one more thing I want from you. Um, ex I don't... No, thank you so much. I'm not in... I don't want any hot dogs. Oh, is he gonna get involved? Look at this redwood, motherfucker. Redwood. Like a giant redwood tree. You're in my house, fatso, and you didn't ask permission. So you and your friends can leave now, or they can carry your fat ass out in a bucket. <laughs> Shit. Now I'll count to three. Bitch, do you know who you're talking to? One. Two. Oh. Oh my god. Well <laughs> night night, bud. You owe us a pair of glasses. Oh shit. Damn! <laughs> he that dude up. Oh shit. Is he wearing the glasses? He's wearing the glasses. <laughs> Alright, don't I mean, I thought it was pretty clear, but confirmed. Don't mess with Jack I'm not a controller. But also, be my friend. Get off yeah. My Get off my lap, <laughs> ventriloquist. Shut up. I won't let anybody touch you. I'm not a criminal. I'm a fucking currency manager. These guys, they forced me to help them with their financial scheme, okay? The people I'm working for made it clear if I jammed them up. Then you'd be killed. My bosses promised if I disrupt their operation in any way, they'd nail me to a wall. Ooh. Cut my balls off and make me eat them. Bleed me and my wife out slow so we die knowing our kids were left with those psychos. Not knowing what will be done to them. I'm gonna hit the head. Go, go with you. Figured as much. I mean, I'm more concerned for these dudes than I am Reacher. I know, but <laughs> you don't ever know when anybody's If you boys knew what's about to happen to you, you'd leave now. Oh, and a shake? I'll give you to the counter three. He's a counter. One. Oh, and he didn't. Okay. 
Oh shit. That was a killer uppercut right there. Oh, oh shit. Damn! Oh! Shit! In the fucking eye! Oh, 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 ah! Oh! God! This looks like they did a really good job because this feels super realistic. Yeah, some. Right? Like, oh, shit! Oh shit. What the hell are you two doing down here? Let's go before the warden sees. Let's go, let's go. Look, I get a new jumper. My yes. is covered in blood now. The yep. report says you were placed upstairs. Why are you in Gen Pop? That's where the guy put us. Damn, he lost sunglasses. Shit. Anyone asks, you've been here the whole time. Yeah, clearly. Um no. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible so far. Yeah. <laughs> Got Reacher's military record from DC. You want to hear the back of his baseball card? I do. West Me Point too. graduate, Silver Star. Defense Superior Service Medal, Legion of Merit, Soldier's Medal, Army Commendation Medal, Bronze Star, a second Silver Star, and a Purple Heart. Damn, dude. Wounds sustained in the bombing of a Marine's barracks in Kandahar. All right, superstar. Seriously, Captain America over here. Witnesses report six separate trips confirming 12 were saved. Major Reacher suffered severe smoke inhalation, but returned to active duty 32 hours later, despite having shrapnel remains of a jawbone removed from his abdomen. What the fuck? So he's not human. Over 150 closed cases, all successful prosecutions, more than 20 fugitives captured. What in God's name is a guy like that doing in Margaret? <laughs> Seriously, that's exactly what I would be asking. I hate to be the one to put him in there. Get out of my office. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Like, he's literally a super soldier. You should eat. You look like hell. That's because I saw you gouge a man's eyes out. Word. That'll do he that too. He started, he started it. it. I'm curious why whoever you work for wants me dead. What do you mean? A guard from last night, Spivey. You set us up in Gen Pop. Guys in the shower I need me as a person to take out. Once I'm out of here, I'm gone. Something bad's going down in my grave, and I don't need to be a part of it. The trouble always seems to find him, so yep. I don't think it's going to be that simple. Yeah. <laughs> Figured a guy with no money, ID, or car could use lift. Yeah, girl! I mean, not probably not like that. But. You cleared me, but how does a guy who confessed walk away? Everybody knows that Hubble's line, so we're holding off on charges, hoping that a nervous guy like him just does something dumb. Hard approach, Officer Roscoe. Roscoe's actually my first name. Never met a woman named Roscoe before. Yeah, you did. A day ago. I feel bad about the Margrave welcome wagon running you over. I was going to apologize with an early dinner, but if you're not sticking around. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is fun. Don't you want a home base or something? Had a home base my whole life. Grew up in the military, worked in the military. Always told where to go, when to be there. I always see my country on my own terms. Don't you miss your family? I guess so. They're all dead. Except for my brother, Joe. He's a good guy. Where's he? No idea. I'm here because of Blind Blake. Actually, it's on account of Chauncey. A couple days ago, I go to Chauncey's Bar and Grill in Tampa. The guy there's playing Police Dog Blues by Blind Blake. I remembered a conversation I had with my brother Joe a while back. I read some article about Blake, said he played his last show in Margrave, and that's where he died. So I got on a bus. Just like that, huh? <laughs> the tone of this show is, like, really fun. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Because there's obviously serious shit going on. <laughs> Yeah. And just, did you see the mom pull the kid? He doesn't look like some crazy dude. I don't understand. I mean, I mean, he's huge. Yeah, just abnormally big. It's like he has a super interesting sense of humor. He's just so dry and to the point. But yet, he could literally murk an entire bathroom full of dangerous dudes. <laughs> Including an eye gouge. 
word. You looking for a dance partner? Because the last person who eyeballed me like that was a woman down in Panama when I was stationed at Fort Sherman, and she wanted to dance a tamborito with me. <laughs> you want to dance a tamborito with me? Hell, I'll dance. I'm talking to you, beauty. I was talking to the guy in pricier boots, better haircut, and expensive truck he lets you sit shotgun in. You want me to lead, or? I'm not much of a dancer, more of an academic and a reader. Reading something interesting just this morning about some charges brought against a major Jack Reacher. Charges of a very serious nature, but charges that somehow disappeared like grains of sand in an unforgiving desert. What? Somehow the desert ended up forgiving you, didn't it? We don't forgive as easily in Margrave. What's your back, Mr. Reacher? This fucking little shit. <laughs> Did Hubble talk when you two were locked up? No. Baloney. Easy, Finley. Watch your language. Got a town of 1,700 people and two homicides. My alibi clear. Just because we know you weren't here when these bodies dropped doesn't mean you might not have something to do with them. Um, that doesn't make any sense. Perhaps the medical examiner will say something that jars your memory about Hubble and you can share it with me. First, you make it clear I'm not a cop anymore. Now you want my help. I want you to do what I say. What? Um, I don't remember being on the payroll. <laughs> Seriously. First victim was allergic to latex. Killers must have worn some kind of polyvinyl protective suit to keep blood DNA off themselves. The victim grabbed it in the struggle, causing his fingertips to swell in a histaminic reaction. His dental works off because he had his teeth fixed wherever he was living at the time. Broke his right arm when he was eight, had it set in Berlin, had his tonsils taken out at ten in Seoul. The fuck? How did you know? Is he a literal superhero? Brother? Is that his brother? Is that why he's getting upset? We were wrestling. Oh no. I pinned him against the stove. Didn't know my mother had just turned it off. That's how my brother got this scar. Oh man. What was your brother doing in Margrave? I don't know. When's the last time you saw Joe? A minute ago in the morgue. What are you doing here in Margrave? Blind. Blake, I swear I'm gonna find any reason I can to lock you up again. Oh, you wanna get the cuffs on. Okay. Uh oh. I know you're not the kind of guy to beat up on somebody half your size without good reason. He's giving me a reason. Yeah, well, I know people, and you've got kind eyes. Do what I say, Reacher. No, oh, he's got kind eyes. Don't fall for it, girl. There's micro penis in there. <laughs> Sorry, I, I won't make that joke anymore. There's nothing wrong with a nothing. Oh my god. I guess I'll find everybody responsible and kill every last one of them. Okay. Uh. I like it. Hook, line, sinker. I like it. He's funny. It's funny. Like, he's straightforward. There's no bullshit. Yeah. He has this weird talent of, like, knowing everybody's shit, even though that was his brother, so of course he would know that shit. But, like... He's literally got, like, psychic abilities. Right. Like, the way he could read people and just come up with conclusions and realize what the hell's going on outside of his brother. It's just, yeah, he's got a pretty remarkable talent. It seems fun, like... I don't know. The tone... So, yeah, I kind of mentioned it during the episode. The tone is really interesting because... He's kind of funny. Like, the way he talks to people is... It makes you laugh. Yeah. But at the same time, there's, like, this serious... Like, there's two people dead. We find out at the end that it, one of them is his brother. He friggin' annihilated people very violently. So it's got, like, literally a bit of everything in this first episode. And the fact that it's like, I'm trying to just get out of here. I just came in here to see this singer and do this thing. And I just was rolling through. I had the bus stop for me as a favor, like all this stuff. And then we get like a quick little flashback with him and his brother talking about how trouble always just seems to find him. He gets arrested for a murder that he had nothing to do with, even though we find out that it's his brother. Yeah. And the episode ends with him making a claim that he's going to stick around, find everyone who's involved and kill all of them. Kill them. Fun. <laughs> it's like holy shit. It, I mean, it kind of has a little bit of Punisher vibes, you know. Not like, as dark. No, at least not at first. Not definitely. Punisher is way darker. But than the this. violence is like his. The it's two death. fight scenes we saw. 
Yeah. Very brutal. The way he knocked out that first dude, mm -hmm. he freaking he likes to headbutt and he likes to count, which I think is fun. He's like, well, you have to count at three, one, boom, and he just goes. Yeah. But like him clearing out that bathroom of dudes, like eye gouge, just breaking things. Yeah. So he's funny, he's gigantic, and he could beat ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think this is a fun combo. And just, ass. yeah, he just like shows up in this town like he sticks out like a sore thumb he does like there's a mom pulling her kid away from him like he is he's six foot six foot five said six five shit and i mean that's that's big but he's also just friggin' jacked to the gills too so six five probably like 260 27 like, yeah he's a big dude but it's just one of those like really interesting tones like it feels kind of unique in a way because again it feels like there's a lot of serious shit going on but there's a lot of really comedic moments, which I'm all for, because I'm kind of weird when it comes to humor. Like There aren't a lot of things that make me laugh, but... Most things make me this laugh. This made me laugh. Yeah. I, I thought this was really funny, and I thought the fight scenes were really awesome. Yes. And, I mean, just the line at the end that he's going to stick around. And I mean, I felt like the... Like, that felt obvious that something was going to keep him there, mm -hmm. and we... You know, it's unfortunate that it had to be his brother who ended up dying. Yeah. And, like, this obviously feels like a really big thing right. with a lot of moving parts. It's like the one dude that he went to jail with lying about the murder. And there was, like, a car clearly, like, like watching him and listening. And then it, like, took off when he, like, confessed to the murder. And obviously he had nothing to do with that. But there's clearly a big thing they're trying to cover up. Someone trying to cover something up. And, and money is involved. Yes. So I, I thought that was exactly what a first episode should be. It had a little bit of everything. I thought it sucked us in right away. I could tell that you enjoyed it too because you had a yeah. giant smile on your face most of the time that I looked over. And there was laughing. There was oh shit <laughs> moments. Reacher. <laughs> that okay, was a really good start. I, so, I mean, you know, it seems like a fun show to watch, and I'm down for something fun. Yeah, so I'm, I'm very glad that we made the decision to watch this, and yeah, I, I very much enjoyed that first episode and can't wait to see where it goes, because, I mean, if we get more more of that, it's going to be an awesome, fun little ride. Like, a lot of laughing and a lot of crazy action, it feels like. No, I'm down. I mean, he is highly, highly skilled when it comes to combat. I mean, reading off his list of accomplishments. Honestly, literally, like, literally Captain America. Shit, yeah. He's like a Jack, super soldier. You know who should be the next Captain America? I mean. He's Jack Reacher. Yeah. I mean, Dude. that list of accomplishments was very that impressive. That guy is fucking huge. Yeah. Chris Evans who? <laughs> right. Damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah, so very much looking forward to seeing what else this show is going to bring because... That was a really fun first episode. Mm. Any other thoughts? Mm. All right, y'all. You guys leave all your comments. We'll see you guys later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.